What I'd like to do today is connect our Jira app to OpenAI so that whenever a new issue is created, OpenAI will create a prompt in the comments of our Jira issue. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you can try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Jira to trigger a prompt in OpenAI, I'll need to use Jira as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Issue as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Jira sees a new issue is created, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Jira, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Jira account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. We'll then need to fill out our trigger apps data. To do this, select the project you'd like to use for your Zap and click continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click test trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click continue and we can start creating our first action. Type in OpenAI into the search bar and select it on the drop-down menu. Next, click Send Prompt and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate OpenAI with Zapier, just like I did with my Jira account. To do this, go to your OpenAI page, click the top right button of your screen, and then select View API Keys on the drop-down. Click Create New Secret Key and then copy and paste it onto your authorization screen. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue, and it's time to assign our trigger apps data into the Action Apps fields. Under Prompt, I'm going to type in a custom message. I'll type, I am creating a comment of an issue in Jira. I need the acceptance criteria for, and then I'll click Summary on the dropdown. And then I'll click Continue. Click Test Action, and we can move on to our second action step. OpenAI will write our prompt, but we'll need to make sure it appears on our Jira app. To do this, click the plus button on the bottom of the screen and type Jira into the search bar. Click Add Comment to Issue, and then click Continue. Log into your account once more, and click Continue again. From there, we can start to assign our trigger apps data into the Action Apps fields. Under Issue, select the issue you'd like to use for your Zap. And then under Comment, I'll select Response. Then I'll click Continue. Click Test Action, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, whenever a new issue is created in Jira, OpenAI will create a prompt in the comments of our Jira issue. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps than thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.